Hey guys, what's up, Tamara here. I'm back again with another video and today I am doing a book review. I am reviewing Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This is a young adult fantasy retelling story and it, since I was trying to power through this book, I also listened to it on audiobook. And I know you're wondering, how did you do that? So I listened when I was working, driving and doing other things and I read it at home and during my lunch hour. So put those two methods together and you finish a book really quickly. You should give it a try. I really enjoy doing this. So for those of you that are like me and have a full-time job and other responsibilities and can't read all day long, this, this combination will save you. Give it a try. Let me know if you do try it out. I would love to know if it works out for you as well. So let's just jump right into the book, shall we? This is about the Queen of Hearts, okay? And this is told from the point of view of Catherine. She is a teenager at the, the point in time. So this is the origin story of Catherine. Uh, we find how she goes from a lovesick teen into the Queen of Hearts. How did she get there? What is her journey? Um, what causes her to turn so mean? And of course, it's a boy. It's a relationship. It always is. In this case, the guy's name is Just. He is a court gesture. Um, you know, he wears the crazy hat. He entertains the king and his guests. And Catherine meets him one night and then she falls for him and the rest just kind of goes from there. Obviously, something bad happens. She turns evil and here we are. I heard somewhere that um, the intent from Marissa Meyer is that when you finish this book, you can start Lewis Carroll's book, Alice in Wonderland, and you would not skip a beat. Um, you would know exactly why the queen is the way she is, and it would seem to fit that world. And it does, I gotta say. Um, when it comes to, you know, the whimsicalness of the story, the imagination of the story, we saw the Cheshire Cat, we saw the Mad Hatter. So we saw characters that we were familiar with from the original story and this story. So I definitely can see where they cross and I can see how this would be a great fit in that world. Now as far as the characters are concerned, I liked them well enough. Um, I liked Catherine well enough, although during most of the book I kept wondering why is she so whiny? Why is she so bratty? I mean, yes, yeah, she's a teenager, but she just seemed a little extra. And that made me think, you know what? When it's all said and done and she turns into the Queen of Hearts, I could kind of see how she got there because it's not like she was the most selfless person to begin with. Um, so, and you know what, Meyer does a good job with that. She doesn't make the stories in such a way that we excuse her evilness as the Queen of Hearts, you know, her meanness as the Queen of Hearts. Um, it doesn't change how we think about that character. You know, while it is an origin story and we know how she got to that place, it kind of just kind of supports how she got to that place, not excuses how she got to that place, in my opinion. And Jeff, the love interest, I didn't really connect to him. I didn't connect to Catherine. He was kind of a pushover. He seemed kind of whiny. He had some unique things about him that were fun to read, but overall, I just, I don't know, I just wasn't connected to any of these characters. And the king, he was the worst. I mean, that stupid laugh. And you know, Rebecca Solar is the narrator of the audiobook, and you should hear the king's laugh. It's like the cheesiest goofball laugh you ever heard, and it makes you want to cringe. It's like, oh, that laugh. I understand why Catherine wouldn't want to marry him. He seems childlike and just dorky and the whole nine. And it, you know, Rebecca Zola really brought that out in the audiobook. So speaking of the audiobook, I really enjoyed listening along with reading. Rebecca Solar did all of the Lunar Chronicle books and as you know, well you may not know but you know now, I really enjoyed the Lunar Chronicle series and Rebecca Solar narrated the books from that series very well. She did a great job with Heartless as well and I do believe that it was her listening to her on audiobook that helped me, motivated me to finish this book. And I mean, I say that in the nicest way possible. I just, I don't know, I wanted that feeling that I got when I was experiencing the Lunar Chronicles books. In my opinion, I did not get that. It did not reach the bar that was set and that was a little disappointing now don't get me wrong it's not a bad story it's not a bad book i'm not trying to come down on it and bash it it just didn't reach the high bar that i set after really enjoying the lunar chronicle series 
Now as far as endings go, I really always enjoy and appreciate a realistic ending. And because we had to find ourselves in the state where the Queen of Hearts existed and she was um, rude in the way that she is in Alice in Wonderland, this was a realistic ending. We understood how we got here to this point and it was acceptable. With all of that said, I rated Heartless three out of five bookmarks. Yes, it's a little lower rating than I expected. Yes, it's also probably lower than the majority of the reviews. While I adored Marissa Meyer's other books, this one kind of fell a little flat. And I did rate it a three out of five, so it's on the uptick, you know what I'm saying? It's a decent read. Um, but like I said, the audiobook did really help me push through it. If I didn't have the audiobook to counter the reading experience, I'm not sure I would have finished the book. And for that matter, I'm glad this is a standalone title and there is not more in this universe. Now, who would I recommend this for? If you enjoyed the Lunar Chronicles series, if you enjoy retellings in general, if you enjoy young adult retellings in general, I definitely recommend it. Give it a try. I understand that I am in the minority. A lot of people really, really love this book and I liked it. You know, I liked it well enough. So that's why I got a three. So if you like those type of stories, then definitely give it a try. If you really love Alice in Wonderland, then definitely give this a try try as well and again I recommend it on audiobook so do pick that up and I think it will make the experience even more enjoyable for you so that's it for today thank you so much for watching please like this video share it with your bookish friends and subscribe before you go I would really appreciate that turn on that little bell so that you never miss a notification of a new video so thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time and until then happy reading bye guys